Hey, what's up? My name is Tyson Brown and I want to welcome you to Tyson's Fitness Test Podcast. This is Australia's top health and fitness podcast to help you lose weight, look good with your shirt off, feel confident in your body and finally achieve the goals you want with your health and fitness. So five days a week, I'm going to be giving you top information from myself and also from leading experts in the field so you know everything you need to do to get in the best shape of your life. From nutrition to mindset to workout, everything is covered in this podcast and you need to go nowhere else. So like I said, it's going to be five days a week, Monday to Friday, in your ears with quick actionable segments that you can implement straight away because the most important thing is you can put these things into play. Also, if you listen all the way to the end of the episode, you're going to get two special gifts that you can download upon listening to it. So make sure you listen all the way to the end to get those free gifts, okay? So let's get into the episode. Half an hour of talking. I am crushing this this morning. Actually, it's only been 20 minutes. This is gonna be my half an hour session. But I'm just looking, I'm like, wow, 30 minutes of podcasting in a row. I've never done this before. And it's just like, oh, I've got all these topics that I can start spinning off. And so it's really cool. I've talked to you about how many calories you need. I've talked to you about how much protein you need. And so today, I'm gonna be talking to you about other macronutrients about figuring out how many calories you need for those macronutrients and where to get those foods from macronutrients. So we've talked about calories, right? We've talked about protein. Now we've got to talk about hitting your protein targets and still being in a calorie deficit. Because what we know is you've got to eat 500 calories less than you burn to lose a pound of fat a week. Okay, now once you're eating 500 calories less, so let's say for example in this case, I'm eating 2800 calories to maintain my body weight, take away 500, and I need 2300 calories. Now, I need to eat double my body weight in protein. So I need 100, let's say 100, I have a, let's just say what I actually eat. I eat 170 grams of protein a day, okay? So one gram of protein is four calories. So what you need to do is you need to multiply the amount of protein you need by four. So for me, 170 times four is 680. That's how many calories are going to come from protein out of my 2300 calories. Okay, so if I go 2,300 calories, take away 680, I've got 1,620 calories left, okay? Now those calories can come from carbs and fats, and maybe a little bit more protein. Like, you know, you'll get random bits of protein in certain foods, right? So you've got 1,620 calories left to have whatever you want. And this is where it comes to carbohydrates and fats and splitting them up. Because I've talked about this in another podcast, but I want to bring it up today about like, what's the best? Should you have more carbohydrates? Should you have more fats? And the truth of the matter is it's whatever's gonna suit you best. If you like having more carbohydrates, you can go for more carbohydrates. If you like having more fats, you can have more fats. But as long as you equal 2,300 calories for the day, in in my case, and as long as you hit that two times your body weight in kilograms, roughly, or one gram per pound, the choice is up to you. Now, you always want a little bit of fat in your diet. And the reason for that being fats help with hormone function. Fats help with other things in the body. So you still want a little bit of fat to maintain your sanity. Because if you're just trying to eat all carbs and you didn't want to have any fat, you'd be pretty much eating white bread, honey, pure fruit, white rice. You wouldn't have oats because those got fat in them. You know, certain things that would be a very dry, bad diet. But basically, 
you know, you get a little bit of fat in your diet and then you decide whether you want to have more fats or more carbohydrates. So you know that you can play around with that. And you get to decide whatever's up to you, right? So now let's think about our protein first. Foods that contain high amounts of protein to know which, what's going to be the best choices for you. So basically, the rule I like to teach my clients is foods that are high in protein come from animals. If it's from an animal, it's most likely high in protein. So you've got meat from beef, you've got pork, kangaroo, one of the leanest meats around, chicken, fish, eggs, uh, low fat milk, Greek yogurt, tuna, I know I said fish, but it isn't like tuna, salmon. They're gonna be your big things. If you think, if it had eyes, if it's an animal, it's got a lot of protein. So, that's like that's probably the easiest thing for me to say. If you just think about, it, okay, I need my protein source. Is this from an like? Where's my protein source? Okay, where's my animal on my plate? That's probably the easiest thing. You know, whey protein comes from cows because it comes from dairy. So if you always think, okay, where's my animal source? That's how you know you get enough protein. But there's also tofu and tempeh, which are high in protein, but they're not animal sources. They're probably your two plant sources that are gonna be the highest in protein. Mushroom, you've probably heard things like mushrooms, beans, edamame. Edamame are kind of high in protein, but mushroom, beans, quinoa, what else do people say? Things like that, they are not high in protein. People say, oh, they're high in protein, and it's because the vegans and vegetarians try and tell you these things. When they're not high in protein, would be, I would say, more than 10 grams per serving. Beans have about six, six uh, between five and seven grams. Mushrooms have like three grams. Quinoa has seven grams per serving, but fucking, it's a lot of carbohydrates too. So you predominantly want to get your protein from an animal source, unless you are a vegan or vegetarian, which you would want to start really ramping up your tofu and tempeh intake. That's what I'm gonna say on that topic when it comes to that, okay? So choosing a protein source at every meal. So another example, let's say you need to eat four meals a day. You got breakfast, lunch, afternoon, dinner, breakfast, where's my animal source? Okay, I'm having two um, Yo Pros, or Chobani Greek yogurts. Boom, there you go. That's 32 grams of protein, 30 grams of protein, right there. What's my lunch source? What's our uh, fish? My animal source is gonna be fish. I'm gonna have tuna, a couple of cans of tuna. Cool. What's my afternoon? Hmm, um, I've got a bag of beef jerky here. Okay, beef jerky is my animal source for today. And then what's for dinner? Uh, well, you got roast chicken, you got red meat, whatever else is gonna be. And that's your dinner source. So you just thought about, okay, I've got an animal source for every meal. And if you're constantly thinking about that, where's my animal source, where's my animal source? then it sounds weird when you say animal source multiple times in a row, because now I started thinking about source of an animal. But you, th you think about where's my animal source all the time, and that's gonna help you remember that you need to have protein every single meal. So you sit down, you look at pl my plate, where is my animal source? Cool? So that's how you figure out, if you, that's how you make sure you've always got protein on the plate, looking for your animal source. Now, after that, you think about, what are your carbohydrates? So carbohydrates are basically fruit, oats, rice, quinoa, millet, bread. Potatoes, what else? Fruit, rice, oats, potato, bread. It's probably the biggest thing you would eat when it comes to carbohydrates. Pizza isn't carbohydrates. Chocolate's not carbohydrates. Things that you probably think are carbohydrates aren't actually carbohydrates. So your actual predominant main sources of carbohydrates is that fruit, quinoa, oats, millet, bread, potato, rice. They're gonna be the biggest things, okay? They're probably gonna be the biggest consumers of carbohydrates. Beans, lentils, legumes, things like that are also high in carbs. Then, your, we're talking about like predominant sources, right? Then your predominant sources of fats. Butter, 
nuts, nut butters, avocado, fatty cuts of fish, fatty cuts of meat. They've got protein, but they've still got um, fat in them. Cream, oils. They're going to be predominantly fat sources. Lard. Um, yeah, I would say they're your predominant fat sources. Nuts, oils, avocados. They're probably gonna be the biggest things that are gonna contribute to fat. So now that you know where your predominant areas are, then there's like, if you think of like circles, circles that intertwine with each other, like this is where people talk about, I've cut out carbohydrates when they haven't really, or I've cut out, you know, blah, blah, and they haven't really, it's like, it's because what they're thinking of is like a certain food, it's not. So pizza is not carbohydrates. Pizza is carbohydrates and fats. Chocolate is not carbohydrates. Chocolate is carbohydrates and fat. Speaking of chocolate, I had a lot of chocolate for my Easter, but I'm back on track anyways. Uh, what else do we think of? Um, any processed foods, hot chips. Hot chips are not carbohydrates. Hot chips are carbohydrates and fats. It just got really loud here for a second. Sorry. Wait for old mate to drive past. And so this is where like, this is where it comes to really important to macro track, to use a calorie calculator to know where all this is going. Like to know, to understand of like, oh, okay, this food isn't just fats. Fuck, what is this guy doing? This food isn't just fat, it's fat. Sorry, this just turned into something crazy. I took one turn and it turns nuts. Sorry, so, say that again. Using a calorie, a uh, food tracker to know, okay, this is not just carbohydrates, this is carbohydrates and fats or this is fats and protein, or like this is like, cause like dairy, like milk. Milk does have protein, but it's also got fat and carbohydrates, right? Fatty cuts of meat have protein, but higher in fat too. And this is what changes the calorie content of food. So now that I've talked to you about soil macronutrients, what you need to do is you need to start tracking these foods using my fitness pal to get a good idea about what foods are containing what, so you can get a better idea of how many calories and how much protein, carbohydrate, and fat you're eating, okay? So download MyFitnessPal, or I don't know, there are some other ones out there, I'd recommend MyFitnessPal, to get an idea about how many calories foods contain and what they contain. Protein, carbs, fats, a combination, things like that. Cool? So remember, the easiest thing for you to think about is you're in a your calorie deficit, you know how much protein you need to get, you know how much protein you need to each meal, where is your animal source to each meal, and then you can fill the rest of the plate with the things you enjoy, whether it be protein, uh, carbs, fats, etc., etc. So I hope that was helpful. Again, always feel free to reach out. It's at Tyson the Trainer on Instagram with two R's, and I'll speak to you next time. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. So now you've listened all the way to the end. That means you get some free goodies. So what you can do is you've got two different options or you can take them both. I've got an intermittent fasting cheat sheet and a high protein 20 recipe meal guide designed specifically for you in your situation. These meal plans and this intermittent fasting guide is designed to help you burn stubborn belly fat and get in the best shape of your life. So all you have to do is go to the show notes, click on the download link, and they'll get sent straight to your email address. It's as simple as that. They're completely free. They're going to help you transform your body. So go to the show notes now and download your free guides, and I'll speak to you in the next episode.